Texans in North Carolina can now enjoy speedy food delivery right to their homes within five minutes, thanks to Flytrex drones. This innovative service is the first of its kind in suburban areas. The round trip journey covers about eight kilometers, with the drones capable of reaching speeds up to 51 kilometers per hour, ensuring your coffee stays hot and your ice cream stays cold. It features 3G connectivity and integrates with a cloud-based backend to facilitate parcel delivery immediately after unpacking. Users can direct the drone via an Android or iOS app using GPS, allowing both sender and recipient to control its flight for smoother deliveries. CEO Yariv Bash envisions a future where drones like the Flytrex Sky play a significant role in enabling private entrepreneurs and individuals to access the skies. Although the drone lacks obstacle detection at present, this will be added through future firmware updates. Additionally, Flytrex plans to release an API for developers to create custom apps and games on its system. Bash notes that while consumer drone technology still has limitations in terms of flight time, improvements are being made. The smartphone revolution has made electronics for smart flying machines more affordable and accessible but a strong back-end platform is necessary for real-time drone control. The Flytrex Sky is available for pre-order at $749, with a future retail price of $1,099. Many rural areas in Germany struggle with public transportation problems. Most people depend on cars because the few buses available are nearly empty, making them unprofitable. To address this, the Monocab OWL team is rethinking rail transportation. Given Germany's large railroad network, they propose using pods on the rails. Monocabs are small shuttles that use the two rails of reactivated railroad lines to provide public transportation in both directions. These shuttles operate on demand and with high frequency. The monocab concept earned the German Mobility Prize in 2018. As part of the monocab project, two prototypes of gyro-stabilized monorail vehicles are being developed and constructed. The project is funded by the Ministry of Transport of North Rhine-Westphalia and the European Fund for Regional Development. The aim is to scientifically prove the feasibility of the concept. Several institutions are involved in the project, including Technische Hochschule Ostwestfalen Lippe, the University of Applied Sciences Bielefeld, etc. The Institute for Energy Research plays a significant role in the project by researching mechanical design, aerodynamics, control engineering, simulation, drive technology, power electronics, and control software. Up to six employees and many students work in different project areas. The CYBI prosthesis is great because it fits kids as young as two years old and is very lightweight, weighing only 200 grams in some models. This prosthesis can handle heavy rain since it doesn't have complex electronics. Its touchscreen fingers let users operate smartphones, tablets, and other devices. Additionally, the CBI helps strengthen forearm and hand muscles. It is particularly suitable if a bionic prosthesis isn't the best option. This prosthesis does not require electricity, making it perfect for various activities without worry. The prosthetic hand functions through wrist movement with cables pulling the fingers together as the wrist bends. This design is straightforward and easy for children to master. With the CIBI prosthesis, you can comfortably perform daily tasks, such as handling items or washing produce. The prosthesis offers a range of design options, allowing you to customize the hand's appearance, including the colors of different parts. The creators of this VR simulator, a sphere from New Zealand, claim they are making the real world obsolete. 
With a diameter of about 2 meters, it helps you improve your skills in controlling various vehicles and has caught the interest of both civilian and military customers. A partnership with the New Zealand Defence Force has already been established. The sphere rotates 360 degrees at up to 180 degrees per second, and its mounting system allows you to easily transform the interior into a plain cockpit or an SUV cabin for training without risking expensive equipment. The idea for the Nova started as a weekend hobby project at the Wellington Makerspace, where Miller initially intended to create a helicopter hover training rig using VR headsets. The early prototype, described as super janky, was dark inside and powered by a car battery. Although the prototype was successful, it did experience some issues such as metal shavings causing damage to the computer. Eight 360 managed to raise enough funds to move the project out of a leaky garage and into a half office in a condemned building. Eventually, the Nova Fee 3 platform was completed and the company moved into a proper facility. The final product measures about 2 meters on each side and weighs less than 500 kilograms, making it portable and easy to transport using a pallet jack or shipping container. Peachtree Corners, a small city in the US with 42,000 residents, is adopting smart technology. Pipedream, a company, has installed a special delivery system resembling a mini Hyperloop. Robots move quickly through underground tunnels, delivering pizza in just five minutes. Garrett McCurrish, CEO of Pipedream Labs, aims to make delivery more affordable and efficient for everyday consumers. He believes this innovation could transform online delivery, which is now a staple in America. He noticed delivery had become more expensive and sometimes slow, so sought a solution through autonomous delivery, particularly underground. This Georgia city, known for its advanced infrastructure and 5G, is the first to test Pipedream's underground system. The one-mile-long system connects a busy shopping center to a smart city innovation center. Employees can use it for lunchtime deliveries. McCarash compares it to a small-scale New York City subway system. The delivery robots, or fast autonomous cars, operate in an 18-inch wide tunnel. Despite the tunnel's size, it can transport over 95% of groceries and over 90% of e-commerce items. The system uses a drawer system at both ends for loading and unloading items, streamlining the delivery process. McCurric plans to expand this technology across the country and create citywide systems in the coming year. Many business owners dream of running fast food restaurants without staff. Now, thanks to Hyperfood Robotics, that dream has become a reality. The team has created a 12-meter container that turns into a fully equipped food outlet. The first one was set up for a Pizza Hut restaurant in Israel, producing 50 pizzas per hour while maintaining high quality. Udi Shemai, a seasoned veteran in the fast food industry, has a long history of building restaurants from the ground up. He previously served as CEO of Domino's Pizza Israel and currently owns Pizza Hut Israel. Shamai's latest venture, Hyperfood Robotics, introduces fully automated restaurant concepts that prepare food without any human intervention. The prototype uses two robotic arms, 120 sensors, and 20 AI-powered cameras to create pizzas with various dough, toppings, and side dishes. Shamai aims to address labor and food safety issues by selling hundreds of plug-and-play pizza concepts in the coming years. His goal is to partner with established brands, dark kitchen companies, and third-party platforms. Hyperfood Robotics is currently working on doubling production speed and increasing topping options. Additionally, it plans to expand into other food types like burgers, ice cream, and bowl food. The process requires minimal staffing for logistics and maintenance, with only a few technicians needed for multiple stores. Cleaning is automated using ozone water, eliminating the need for chemical cleaners.
The Hyperice X shoulder is designed to bring elite sports technology to everyone. It combines heating and cooling for warm-up and therapy, with quick mode changes in just 60 seconds. A full charge lasts for 1.5 hours of use, and it can be worn on either shoulder. This device allows you to experience contrast therapy on demand, holding a consistent temperature for as long as needed, or automatically switching between hot and cold. It provides rapid recovery, helping you get back to your activities quickly. With an adaptive fit, Hyperice X shoulder moves with you, offering automated contrast therapy at home or on the go. There's no need for prep, ice, or cords. Use cold therapy to tackle pain and inflammation, heat therapy to ease tension and aches, or contrast therapy for a rotating cycle of both. The device offers sustained relief without any change in temperature, making it more effective than traditional icing and heating pads. Let's continue with two automotive themed designs. The first is a 4.8 kilograms leveler that can support up to a ton, making it great for lifting or leveling a car or camping trailer. It can lift up to 12 centimeters in height. The second option is a pair of chalks that fit together to save space. Their sharp shape allows for a good grip, and they are made of polypropylene, making them easy to hold with one hand. However, competitors also offer features such as a dump truck, Introducing Air One, an innovative electric aircraft designed specifically for the U.S. Air Force. With vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, Air One offers promising features. It can fly for up to an hour on a single charge and carry a payload of 250 kilograms. The Air One features a fixed wing design with eight electric motors, each equipped with three bladed rotors and a boom tail. The front motors are attached to the lower fuselage, while the rear motors connect to the tail section. The aircraft offers a range of up to 110 miles, or a one-hour flight time, on a full charge, reaching speeds of 155 meters per hour. In May 2022, Air appointed Florida-based Aero Auto Aeromall as its U.S. distributor after showcasing the prototype at the Kentucky Derby. Air began accepting pre-orders for the $150,000 aircraft, requiring a 1,000 deposit. The Crawler Robot Treddy is an advanced machine designed for high-budget customers. It can move on walls and ceilings using a system of magnets. It can dive up to a meter deep in water for 30 minutes and navigate over obstacles like stairs, fallen trees, rocks and pipes. Treddy weighs 25 kilograms and can operate for two, three hours on a single charge, traveling at a speed of about two kilometers per hour. In 2024, Heavy Robotics celebrates its 10th anniversary. Over the years, the company has had many adventures, including one known as Allegheny Treddy. In August 2021, while shooting a promotional video for Treddy, their robot, it lost connection and sank into the Allegheny River. The robot drifted downstream, seemingly lost. The team searched for it, fearing it was gone forever. Fortunately, a team of scuba divers in Pittsburgh agreed to search for the robot in exchange for t-shirts and a case of Iron City beer. A few days later, the divers successfully recovered the robot from the murky river waters. Treddy was mostly unharmed, with just a waterlogged USB port and one missing googly eye. Today, it continues to serve Hebe's customers. The robot can be enhanced with a camera system and arms, and can be controlled via an iOS or Android smartphone. The advanced RB9 version can carry up to 20 kilograms of cargo, but costs around $59,000. The Eden ISS project participants have outlined their menu for a Mars journey. It focuses on growing greens and vegetables in a small 13 square meter space. 
they successfully grow 29 kilograms of tomatoes and 51 kilograms of cucumbers, along with greens, cabbage, radishes, and more. All these plants flourish in a soilless greenhouse in Antarctica using aeroponics, a system that irrigates roots with nutrient solutions. This is essential for future human space exploration missions, including providing edible food for crew members. The project focuses on demonstrating plant cultivation technologies and applying them to space. Eden ISS is working on several key areas, such as an advanced nutrient delivery system, a high-performance LED lighting system, a biodetection and decontamination system, and food quality and safety procedures. These systems will be integrated and tested in a container-sized greenhouse test facility. Initial testing of plant cultivation technologies will take place in laboratory settings at partner sites. The complete facility will then be integrated at the German Aerospace Center in Bremen and undergo extensive testing. Space Perspective is working on a project to explore the stratosphere. Their plan is to take up to nine people in a capsule to an altitude of about 30 kilometers. Passengers can enjoy views from the edge of Earth's atmosphere in a comfortable environment. Spaceship Neptune is designed to be the most accessible, sustainable, and safest spacecraft. It consists of three main components, the space balloon, reserve descent system, and Neptune capsule. Unlike other spacecraft where the crew compartment separates during flight, Neptune's capsule stays attached to the space balloon from takeoff to landing, ensuring a smooth and safe journey. The space balloon lifts Neptune using renewable hydrogen, avoiding the carbon emissions of traditional rockets. It ascends slowly at 12 meters per hour, making it suitable for anyone fit to fly on a commercial airline. It is a proven technology, previously used by the team in NASA and government missions for lifting heavy research equipment. Neptune also has a backup descent system with four parachutes placed between the capsule and the space balloon. These parachutes can take over immediately if needed, ensuring a safe landing in case of any issues. Verge Motorcycles chose Mika Hakkinen to help them build an electric bike. He's been part of their advisory board since last year. With the support of the two-time F1 champion, engineers created a special bike with impressive power, offering 1,000 newton meter of torque. It can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.5 seconds and reach a top speed of around 200 kilometers per hour. The creation of the Mika Hekkinen X Verge Motorcycle Signature Edition motorcycle was a partnership between experts from both fields, aiming to design a bike that reflects Hekkinen's racing heritage and Verge Motorcycle's drive for innovation. Verge has garnered attention with its claims, notably a fast charging time of 35 minutes for the TS Ultra. The convergence of technology and motorcycles has increased in recent years. Verge's presence at CES underscores this trend, highlighting the growing importance of innovative design in the industry. The TS Ultra's unique features distinguish it from other electric two-wheelers, particularly its hub-mounted motors and open-wheel design. Gilani Engineering offers an upgrade called the MTO2 that turns manual wheelchairs into tricycles. For $3,290, you can travel up to 50 kilometers on a single charge. The MTO2 is easy to install and works with most manual wheelchairs. The device lets you navigate ledges and obstacles safely without tipping over. The central connector can be detached quickly when not needed. It does not limit leg space between the bike and the chair. Reasons to choose the handbike include its 350 watts motor that provides strong power and allows you to climb a 12 degree ramp effortlessly. It also features cruise control and an intelligent reverse function. The folding handlebar makes it easy to store the handbike in your car. The overall design includes internal wiring for safety and aesthetics 
with a 12-inch wheel attachment suitable for most wheelchairs. The LCD display provides information on speed, battery status, total distance, direction, and steps. For more high-quality suspension and a disc brake, offer a smooth ride and strong stopping power. Canon, a well-known Japanese company in the photography world, is working on augmented reality glasses called the M Real X1. This new model builds on the previous version by not only showing life-size virtual objects, but also allowing interaction with them. Notable features include a wider field of view of 58 by 60 degrees and enhanced displays with resolutions of 1920 by 2160 for each eye. Virtual reality and augmented reality have been buzzwords for a while, but the emerging technology gaining traction is mixed reality. It blends virtual experiences with the real world, allowing users to interact with virtual elements in their environment. While not as widespread in consumer tech, MR is proving invaluable to businesses. The concept of MR has been captivating people for a long time. Many have seen sci-fi movies where characters manipulate virtual dashboards or visualize schematics with a wave of their hand. Canon's foray into MR started over 25 years ago, with initial prototypes tested in manufacturing environments in 2007. The feedback from these tests led to the development of Canon's M-Real technology, showcased at CES 2023. Visitors experienced a gamified version of M. Knight Shyamalan's movie, Knock at the Cabin, using virtual furniture and objects for defense against intruders. The key is in the details, creating a lightweight, comfortable headset that combines real and virtual elements naturally without sacrificing display size. Despite being lightweight at 158 grams, the M-Real X1 headset maintains Canon's standards of accuracy in color and scale. Lenovo is starting the year with a new laptop that has a transparent display and no physical keyboard. This is the industry's first micro LED concept. The 17.3 inch display lets you adjust the transparency up to 55%. Instead of a physical keyboard, there's a virtual one. The laptop's resolution is 720p. But the concept is interesting. The device features an adjustable transparent display and a detachable, see-through base that serves as both a keyboard and tablet. The keyboard is a smooth surface of nano-optical glass that projects keys rather than using physical buttons. When a stylus is brought close to the keyboard, the keys disappear, allowing artists and designers to draw directly on the surface. It also includes a rear-facing camera that uses generative AI and augmented reality software to interact with objects behind the screen. The company demonstrated the AR capabilities by placing a flower in a vase behind the screen and showing a virtual butterfly flying around it. The transparent screen offers new possibilities for work collaboration and efficiency, such as overlaying digital information onto physical objects to create unique content. The laptop uses microLED technology for high color saturation and a brightness of 1000 nits, ensuring visibility in various light conditions. When the pixels are at maximum brightness, the display becomes fully opaque, while dimming them increases transparency. The prototype device currently has a low resolution, but Lenovo expects microLED technology to improve over time. Although there are no immediate plans to release the project, Lenovo aims to showcase potential uses for future products. By the end of 2023, the first AI-run restaurant opened in the US. It's a regular fast food place serving burgers and fries, but the process of making the food is part of the experience. Reports say that the meat is ground fresh after orders are placed, making the patties very tender and flavorful. Cali Group, Miso Robotics, and Pop ID opened Cali Express, the world's first fully autonomous restaurant. Located in Pasadena, California, 
the restaurant uses advanced technology to automate both grill and fry stations, powered by AI and robotics. Guests can order through self-ordering kiosks and make payments using their Poppy ID accounts while watching their food being cooked robotically. Cali Express offers freshly made Wagyu blend burgers and hot, crispy fries made from top-grade potatoes. The menu is simple, including burgers, cheeseburgers, and french fries. The restaurant's robotic systems ensure precise cooking times, creating a more efficient and safer kitchen environment for employees. About the companies, Cali Group invests in restaurants and technology companies, transforming the restaurant and retail industries. Miso Robotics creates intelligent automation solutions for commercial food service, including the fully autonomous Flippy Fry Station. Pop ID offers a platform for biometric verification for digital interactions and payments, enabling secure and streamlined experiences for consumers, offering a unique experience, combining advanced technology with culinary innovation. Feeling bored during your commute? Already checked off your playlist, scrolled through social media, and mastered every level of Angry Birds? Well, here's a suggestion from the team at iTree. Try gazing out the window. Their smart window, equipped with GPS and cameras, tracks your gaze and presents interesting information on the glass, such as historical facts. Plus, the design ensures the information doesn't obstruct your view. When you're on a bus tour, you don't want to miss the sights by looking them up on your smartphone. The AR interactive vehicle display helps by providing information directly on the vehicle's window glass. Launching soon at CES, the technology was created by Taiwan's Industrial Technology Research Institute. Here's how it works. Above each bus window is an eye tracking camera, and a clear micro LED touchscreen covers the entire inside surface of the window. The system tracks the passenger's gaze as they look out the window. By using GPS data to understand the vehicle's speed and location, the system can identify the attraction the passenger is viewing. It then shows a small photo of the attraction on the micro-LED panel next to the passenger's view. If the passenger wants more information, they can tap the photo to bring up text boxes with additional details around the attraction without obscuring the view. This technology could also be used in trains, boats, gondolas, and other sightseeing vehicles iTree has even applied similar tech in public aquariums to provide information about the fish on display. By the 2050s, climate change may double or triple the turbulence in the atmosphere, which is a big problem for aviation. Fortunately, Turbulence Solutions is addressing this issue with their technology, which improves flight smoothness by 80%. Their method is simple. They install sensors near the front of the airplane to detect changes in pressure. Turbulence can cause discomfort and safety issues for passengers and financial losses for airlines. This new technology aims to solve this problem by stabilizing aircraft in turbulent air. It uses advanced flight control techniques that can be applied to modern aircraft, such as LiDAR, and morphing structures to reduce the impact of turbulence. Small aircraft flying at low altitudes are particularly affected by frequent and strong turbulence near the ground. Light aircraft are easily disrupted by turbulence, much like feathers in the wind. Turbulence cancelling technology also involves combined feed-forward and feedback control, which measures turbulence ahead of the aircraft and anticipates its effects. Manned flight tests have already demonstrated the positive effects and it has received patents in the US and Europe. Introducing the world's smartest crib, designed to help your baby sleep better. Priced at $1,700, this crib features automatic rocking to soothe your baby if they wake up during the night. It uses AI to learn your baby's preferences and can play their favorite songs. You can also monitor your baby through a video camera on your smartphone or computer. For those who haven't had kids, imagine working an extra 80 to 120 hours per week with no sick days and higher expenses, mostly at night. 
This is similar to what parenting a newborn is like. As we mentioned before, Cradlewise's crib uses AI and sensors to mimic an adult's role in soothing a baby to sleep. Parents spend around 82 days a year trying to get their baby to sleep, which is about 22% of the year. The crib moves up and down like someone bouncing a baby to sleep. It detects signs of stirring and gently helps the baby back to sleep. The crib's AI customizes the soothing process for each child and becomes more effective over time. This leads to less frequent baby wake-ups and improved sleep for parents. Parents are less likely to wake up during deep sleep cycles, resulting in higher quality rest. Cradlewise helps avoid the fragmented sleep that parents often experience.